Stephen has really taken the alcohol agenda by the horns. And Stephen also sits as the chair of the North East Regional Alcohol Advisory Group, which of course Neil are are proud to be involved with and also included in. Since Stephen's come into post, we've seen a publication of the North East Statement of Priorities, in which the document calls for the region as a whole to get together with an emphasis on treatment, prevention and control. If you haven't seen it, it's on, it's on the NIRAP website. You might get to hear that a few times today. But really, it calls for partnerships to get together to, to be developed. But it also recognises the work of NIRAP. That is a good one. I've got a toy today. <laughs> I'm sorry I got to have loads of paper. You know, the alcohol misuse doesn't do much for the memory. So, And yes, I am Kevin Martin. I am the founder of NIRAP. And... Things pop up in life now and again that can lead to be problems. And when you get a problem, you've got to find a solution for it. If you break your leg, you go to A&E, they'll put your plaster cast round it, it's fixed, the solution. If I break my car, I take it to a garage, they'll fix it, a solution. I had a problem, I was dependent on alcohol, and I couldn't find a solution. It was very often sticky plasters put on, but not the real solution. And the more I was looking for that solution, I couldn't find it. Five years in and out of the treatment system, and I went to AA, I tried that, but it wasn't for me. So we had to find that solution, and we've got it now, it's called Nira. This is what it's all about with alcohol. 60 people every day die through alcohol misuse either because of their or another person's. And it's rising, particularly in our area. We started to see the knock-on effects of rivalisation of drinking hours and drink promotions, and now we've got supermarkets and off-licenses selling alcohol at a loss just to get people to buy it. We've got more people going home at night, and rather than putting the kettle on, they're having a glass of wine. And we've got people choosing to use alcohol in a dangerous way. We've got people not going out just to have one or two. We've got people going out just to have a skinful. And that's what it is. The system is setting us up to fail because it doesn't go far enough. And the emphasis is all on the clinical side, which is correct. That is what the NHS does. But surely we need to look at the root causes of the drinking, if indeed there ever was one. What we do know is that alcohol is an indis indiscriminate drug. It can creep up on, it, on anybody, and what starts out as a few drinks at the end of the day, somewhere in the horizon, it can turn into a massive problem for people. Treatment on its own isn't enough. We need effective aftercare. Otherwise, the outcome is that a revolving door syndrome. The same people, time and time again, in and out of treatment, and I know there's many service providers and workers here today, I'm sure you'll agree with me about this. And this is what was happening with me. I was going into treatment and out, and I was caught up in the revolving door syndrome. And, yeah, okay, the plaster being put on for a while, but I remember once lapsing, and I went back to the agency that had helped me and they turned me away, told me to go away, sober up for tea, two weeks, get clean. But it didn't matter where I was detoxed, it usually all led you know, to the same outcome, because that what was it, it was treatment, treatment on its own. And I remember once being detoxed in the day detox unit, and I got there in the morning and it was the mandatory breathalyzer, a session to see my key worker who identified that as soon as I sat down to watch television, that's when the drinking started. She then took me into her room to sit for eight hours in front of a television watching Trisha, Country Fire, Crown Court and Davis. <laughs> and I also remember once being threatening a psychiatric unit. Um, it didn't much matter to me, but it was just the locals uh, who we used to see when I was back home. They used to see me going to the off license and I'm going along the road and I'm hearing, hearing PV and I'm going, hiya! I didn't realise it was Jodie for an alcoholic. 
So when they heard that I'd been in a psychiatric <coughs> unit, they shouted, Nutter! And I'm shouting, no man, it's me, the PB! <laughs> but people with alcohol problems should be treated in alcohol specific settings. Just like any other department of the NHS, if you break a leg, you see an orthopaedic surgeon. But as it stands at the moment, tier four is not effective enough, it needs more onto it. And that's what we've got today, tier five. We've invented NERAP as tier five. It's an effective re reality, it takes over where tier four left up. We're there for the long term overcare, the long overhaul, the alternative to AA, long needed, long overdue. Whilst AA's 12 step model, NERAP is get off your backside, get busy, change your lifestyle. And we guide people through that process, through the very early days of not having alcohol in the body. If someone's not been drinking for 20 years, all of a sudden to have no alcohol in them, it's a shock. They've got to learn to live with themselves again because they've got new emotions coming through. And usually because long-term drinking, they've maybe lost the short social skills to be able to go out and make a difference for themselves. We like to work on people holistically so we can look at the issues that may threaten or jeopardise sobriety in the future. We work with people on housing, training, work employment, debt, legal matters. We're also getting people the kids back. The most important thing is that we work with people through the alcoholism. And remember when I mentioned then that I'd been to a service provider and they sent me away because I'd been drinking. That's when near I cuddle people, because that's when people need the support. When they've lapsed, they don't need to be sent away. And what we're doing, we get somebody coming along, sorry I've lapsed. Well, so what? It's like a baby when he's born, he doesn't get up and walk straight away. It keeps falling down and got to stand up. And this is how, how it is with alcohol. It's a learning curve. And we support people through that. And we say, right, you had four cans last night, you'll have two tonight. So we actually nip it in the bud so people aren't having to go through the revolving door again. Nobody knows in the country roughly how many detoxes are given, but it probably have a very high success rate. But within a short while, it's usually gone. And that's what I was finding when I went home to fend for myself. <coughs> the safety net, had, safety net had gone. 